In previous video, we learned the condition of parallelism when the two or more than two lines becomes parallel. What is the condition for that? And we learned that when uh, when the two or more than two straight lines have the same and same uh, slope, if all the straight lines have the same slope, then those all straight lines will be parallel to each other. And now we're going to learn when uh, the two lines become perpendicular. What is the condition uh, to be the two lines perpendicular? All right. Uh, for that, let me make a small figure. Suppose here, uh, this is my, suppose here I have a line and here I have another line. Okay. And let me give the both line a name. Suppose this is L1 and this line is L2. Okay. So if these two lines are perpendicular, then the angle between them should be 90 degree. All right, this should be 90 degree. Similarly, this should be 90 degree. This should be 90 degree. This should be 90 degree. Altogether, 90, 90, 90, 90, 360. Right. So here it should be 90 degree. Uh, this is our positive x-axis, and this is our positive y-axis. With uh, the line uh, L1 with the positive x-axis has made the angle suppose alpha. And the line L2 had made, made the angle with positive x-axis suppose uh, beta. Alright, so if uh, the angle between both is 90 degree here, alright, then what, what we know that, what we can write, if this L1 and L2 is perpendicular, if L1 is perpendicular to L2, then what is the condition that beta should be equal with 90 plus alpha. Because what we have learned that in a triangle, uh, the sum of the internal two angles is equal with the external angle right so 90 plus this alpha should be equal with beta all right and here is 90 degree keep in mind so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take tan both sides so I'll have tan beta equals to tan 90 plus alpha tan beta is equal with now see tan 90 plus alpha what is tan 90 plus alpha that's minus cot alpha uh, I hope you know the trigonometric rules right tan 90 plus alpha is actually minus cot alpha all right, and minus cot alpha, we can further write minus 1 over tan alpha. I'm just using simple trigonometric uh, stuff, sorry, right? simple trigonometric rules I'm using here. So what we get finally, tan beta is equal with minus 1 over tan alpha. And now let's focus on this. What's beta? If you see in the figure, beta is actually the inclination made by the second line. So tan of the inclination, that's slope of the line L2. Let me represent by M2, all right, and here minus 1 over tan alpha. What's tan alpha? Alpha is actually the inclination made by the line L1. So what do you mean by that? That's tan of inclination, that's slope of the first line, all right? Slope of line L1, that's, uh, let me represent by M1, all right? So finally what do we get? M2 is uh, negative of 1 over M1. So to write it properly, we, we can write M1 times M2 equals to minus 1. So this is the condition for the perpendicular of the two lines. So whenever any two lines are perpendicular to each other, then the, the product of their slope must be minus 1. If this condition is achieved by any two straight lines, at that time we can say that both the straight lines are perpendicular to each other.